All right, so here's my review of the Shaker audio system in the 2018 Mustang GT Premium. So this video is for those of you who are not sure if you want to drop $1,000 on the Pro system versus the regular Shaker system, which is what I have in this car. So I actually tried the Shaker Pro system at the dealer. I went out and I listened to a few songs, played with the, the treble, the, the mid-range, the bass, all that good stuff. Um, and I ended up calling the dealer several weeks later and saying, hey, put this in my order, I wanna get it. So I was willing to invest $1,000 because I consider myself an audiophile. Um, so, I, so I did hear both systems. And I will further qualify myself by saying that I used to be one of those kids who had huge, huge speakers in the back, um, total, totally into it, had a, a fourth order box with like four 10 inch um, Predator subwoofers. You could actually see <clears throat> um, through the back, I had a black light in there and they were like glowing. It's pretty awesome. Um, so I used to be in stereos. However, I was uh, one of those kids who had a lot of stereos, but I also turned it down at the stoplights and I never blasted my music um, in neighborhoods. Just not that kind of a guy. So, um, I guess we'll go over some cons before the pros. And the only, hopefully you guys can see this. By the way, you should watch this in 4K because um, it'll have better sound and obviously better video. So let's start off with the con. I really have only one con with this and it's more related to the whole system overall. And that is that what is up with the Windows 95 interface. That's totally the opposite of, of what was advertised in this car, which is like this sleek, sexy, iPhone looking um, dark screen with like apps. It was beautiful. You can probably still see it online. And then they replaced it with this like Windows 95 crap. I mean, that's, but anyway, that's just a little pet peeve of mine and really my only con. So let me, let me actually turn this on. So one pro is nice, um, you know, nice touch screen. Uh, one deal breaker for me is actually the ability to scan in an iPod. And especially if you can scan on the steering wheel, hopefully you can see this, um, like I can here. So if I hold this down a little bit, after a couple seconds, it starts scanning. That's like crucial to me because I listen to these you know, Armin Van Buren, EDM songs, two hour mixes, all this stuff. And to be able to scan forward and backward is simply a must have for me. Um, it's also awesome that you can do it, like I said, on the steering wheel. There's a little bit more lag than there was in my STI. So if I press it down, it takes one 1,000, two 1,000, three 1,000. It takes like two and a half seconds before it, it starts scanning. Um, but again, it's something I can't live without. So I'm just thrilled that it actually has this. Um, basically this is, in terms of volume, this is too much stereo for me. So that's, I mean, too much stereo for me I put as a, as a pro because you want to have that, you want to have just enough stereo and then you want to have some on reserve in case you ever want to just get crazy and, you know, pump it up even more. But on this, about 14 is really as high as you want to go, um, especially depending on the type of song and the type of recording. Um, I usually buy all Waves off of Beatport.com. Waves are uh, pretty much a digital version of the CD, so the sound quality is preserved. Um, so it's kind of loud. Most of the tracks are loud. So I'd say 14 is pretty much as loud as I want to go on a normal day. A little bit louder if it's a quiet song. And that leaves me a lot of room to go crazy. Um, so bass is awesome. You can, and I'll put on a song to show the bass. Let me check how much time I have left on this thing. Okay, I'm gonna pause because I'm doing this in 4K and it only lets me do five minutes. Okay, back. 
So bass is just awesome. It, you can feel it. it. It shakes you. So you can feel it vibrating through your arms. You can feel it vibrating through your bones. More than enough bass. And I have my bass up pretty loud because I just like that experience. Uh, Mid-range, very clear vocals. You can hear the songs much better than my STI. And my STI actually had the premium stereo. Um, treble is, is passably decent. It's not ear shattering. I have heard, you know, stereos with little tweeters, you know, right in your face that are just blasting the highs. Um, maybe it's just because I haven't turned it up to the max, but it's 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 definitely passable. Um, call it like an eight out of ten. Uh, the volume is very nice and responsive, so you could turn it up right quick. Like I said, my max is about fourteen. In my STI, it was 27, so you had to turn it a lot more. Um, just seems to be just a lot more responsive. Just goes up and down. You don't have to, um, you know, spend a lot of time turning the dial or hitting the switch on the steering wheel. Um, the knob is nice and big here, easy to turn. I don't know, if, can you see it? Hopefully, yeah. On the STI, it was a little tiny one, and I just wasn't just wasn't comfortable for me. Uh, one awesome thing is the voice control on this thing. So bear with me a second here. You hit this little switch on the steering wheel. Please say a command. Play playlist, Brian. Playing playlist, Brian. So it's awesome. She even, uh, you know, says the name of the list. She pronounces it perfectly. Uh, pretty, pretty cool. Um, some of you may recognize this song. It's like on the Chemical Guys advertisement on YouTube. That's where I first heard of it. Then I went out and I bought the mix. Pretty cool song. Um, one awesome thing, and this is huge for me because I'm very impatient, is that you can actually interrupt the woman in the voice control. So instead of listening to them say the whole time, Please say a command, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm gonna play now, blah, 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 blah. You can actually hit this button twice and it and it cuts her off, which I find to be fucking awesome. Excuse my language, but watch this. Please say a command. Play playlist, Brian. Playing playlist. Okay, I'll do one more. Play playlist, Brian. Playing playlist. So there I actually cut her off twice. You can cut her off right in the beginning and you can cut her off after she says it. I freaking love saving seconds worth of time. That's awesome. It's efficient to me. Um, so that's that's pretty much it. Let me give you a little taste of the bass. Um, this song here is a little cool little song I found on YouTube. Um, Suicide Sheep or Kiz New or something like that. I just thought it was a pretty cool song. It's got awesome bass. So turn up your volume. Make sure you have this on 4K if you can. Um, it's gonna get to the really bassy part in a minute, but another awesome thing is you can finger scan this bad boy. So if I slide my finger across, it's gonna uh, scan forward. Pretty awesome for a stock stereo. I mean, I call it stock, but it's really made by Shaker, which is a pretty reputable company, I guess. Um, so anyway, end of the day, awesome stereo. My only complaint about it is that it has a Windows 95 interface, but really that's not related to the stereo, that's related to the head unit. Um, and I'll do a separate review on the head unit as well. The head unit does actually look better at nighttime, it switches over to black, um, but nothing compared to what was in the advertisement. So I don't know what happened to that, that interface before the, sh the car got made. Um, and that's it. Uh, leave some comments below if you have any questions. I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, I'm going to be reviewing a um, pedal commander, which should come in today. Uh, it's something that makes the car a little bit more responsive. So I'll, I'll do that video next. All right, or later. Actually, I'm back. I forgot to show you the settings. So here's the settings I have it at. Treble is actually maxed pretty much. Yeah, I think it's actually maxed. Mid-range about 75% and bass is just under max, a couple notches under maxed. 
Um, there's a really cool, in addition to, you know, the typical fading and all that good stuff, there's a really interesting feature that I have not seen in a stereo before. Um, you got your normal speed compensated volume, I have that set to 15, but what I haven't seen is occupancy mode. So, this kind of positions the audio right at you, um, or it positions it, um, by at you, I mean at the driver, um, or it positions it throughout the whole car. Um, I haven't played around with it too much. Let's get another song on here. And I don't know if you're going to be able to hear the difference, but here goes. So it's just kind of more focused right on the driver. All seats. I don't know which one I like. I mean, the 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 um, the all seats one just seems more. Uh, I don't know, surround sound-ish, it just feels like you're kind of in a concert or whatever. The all the driver mode just focuses it right in your face, um, which is also pretty cool. It's a neat feature, I like it. Um, I'm gonna test it out a little bit more tonight, and uh, maybe I'll update in the comments. Um, I kind of like all seats. And that's it. See you guys. Awesome M4 shot. If I were him, I'd park it way back here too. But actually, I've had the past M, uh, past four M3s, and to be frank, if I had the money to afford a brand new M4, I'd just get the Mustang again, supercharge the bad boy, and do some other mods to it. Anyway, closing thoughts.